Deborah, clearly there are still so many shortages in hospitals, overwhelmed, um, stretched thin across the country. What is your take on all this? Um, my take is that there's an incredible lack of preparedness, as you uh, mentioned before. Uh, this is nothing new as far as um, uh, disease processes that we have had to deal with over the years, like SARS, H1N1, MERS, uh, Ebola. Um, but what ends up happening is, is that many of our governments globally uh, have lacked the forethought to prepare for what is obviously going to be uh, continuing for many decades down the road. Uh, in the United States, what's really uh, egregious is that the federal government, through uh, President Trump, have not mandated more production of N95 masks or the PAPR system, which is the purified air uh, power pack system. Uh, N95 masks are good, but we really should be wearing the PAPR systems uh, to provide care for our patients. And uh, it's really hitting home that the model of just-in-time stocking doesn't work in healthcare and has no place in healthcare to begin with. Deborah, what is the greatest need uh, for nurses across hospitals in the U.S. right now? And what do you tell all these nurses who are putting their lives at risk and just don't have the necessary tools to treat patients? <laughs> What we're telling nurses is that we will continue to fight for all nurses across the country. We represent uh, a, a large group of nurses, but there are nurses that have no protections because they're not in a union, but we are still speaking for them as well to make sure we can all do the job because if nurses aren't protected, we can't be there to protect our patients. And so we need to not contribute to a nursing shortage by allowing nurses to work without proper protections that puts their lives at risk. So we're demanding President Trump use the Defense Production Act to uh, produce more uh, N95 masks and needed equipment. You can't expect nurses to go into a fight like this without any protections. It's really like uh, going into battle without the proper gear. And you don't ask men to do that. So you can't ask nurses, which is largely a woman's profession, to do the same and expect that uh, there's going to be any kind of good result. Clearly, the nurses, the healthcare workers are uh, facing severe shortages. But what about the patients are there enough hospital beds, ventilators, uh, for the nursing staff that has to treat them? Well, again, part of that is a lack of preparation. We still have several states in the United States that haven't even uh, done any measures to flatten the curve, which means having people stay at home and giving clear, consistent guidelines. That is... Uh, criminal and irresponsible on the part of elected officials and the fact that there are still areas where the president could use his um, authority to commandeer um, hospi uh, hospitals that uh, have closed. He could use hotels that uh, are right now practically vacant to house patients and that hasn't happened. There's an incredible lack of leadership at this point, and it rests solely with the president because he has the authority and isn't using it.